So let's talk about how in progress works for our team. So let's just say we have a task over here in ClickUp. And now I'm going to go ahead and assign it to you. I'm just going to make your color orange, whatever. I'm your manager. Here's your color. And I've just, you know, assigned it to your uh, avatar, your profile. So now what that means is whatever this task is, task one, that's going to be assigned to you at some point. Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, might be next month. Now, all of a sudden, the time rolls around that this is going to be assigned to you. So this is now assigned to you, and I'm going to give you a due date. So when you get a due date on this, and we'll talk about this more when we go over the, uh, the diagram, but you've got a task here, you've got an assignment, and now here you've got a due date. Once you have a due date, then your job as the team member is to come over here to the, in, to the drop downs and say, in progress. So if I see that this is set to in progress, that's basically you acknowledging to me that you saw that you have a task, you saw it's assigned to you, you saw it have a due date. So any task that does not have a due date cannot be in progress. So if you have a task, let's back up now, if you have a task, there we go, that does not have a due date assigned, then your status for that task is gonna be to do, at least in our workflow, it's gonna stay, you know, there's my attempt at a rectangle with the mouse to stay it to do. But if you do have a, and again, the colors here don't matter. These colors matter. These don't in my example. Here's your task. It's assigned to you. We now put a due date in there. You're going to come over here and you're going to say, this is now green. Excuse me. This is now uh, blue in progress. Again, hard to write with the mouse in progress. Perfect. So that's where we are with in progress. Now, waiting internal. This is what we use when we're waiting for feedback. We might have a point where you might say, okay, now I need, let's jump down here. I need my manager to review this. So you're going to change this status over here to manager review. Because your manager now, whoever you, you know, whoever's your manager, this and that, however your company works, let's come over here. Where's orange? There we go. There's some orange. Changed it for us. But you're going to make this manager review. Now you're the manager. You come around and you say, great, this is done. Task is completed. You can mark it complete. Or if there's feedback, you can give feedback and say waiting internal, which means if you see waiting internal next to your task, that means there's a comment there that says, hey, um, this uh, document you're going to send out to the client, I want my manager, it's in progress. Now I'm going to have my manager review it. Perfect. I'm the manager. I review it. Hey, there are some corrections. I need you to change um, Mr. to doctor, for example. So I put a comment, change Mr. to doctor. This gets changed into waiting internal because... You're, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for you to pick up the task and acknowledge it. And then you are going to now, you have it back. Like, oh, I see. I need to change it from uh, Mr. to Doctor. That's in progress. I'm working on that. And here we are back here. And once you finish that, it goes to completed. That's how the cycle works. And we're going to talk about that in another video just to show you that just with the diagram of it. Then over here on hold, sometimes you might have a project that we're going to do or a task really that's on hold. And the task might be, you know, a client gives us a list of 10 things to add to their website, and it turns out that updating the bio images, updating you know, the image of some team members, well, you know, we were going to do that, but they don't have the images ready, and they actually don't want to pay for that now. So if we're waiting for the images to be ready, that's waiting external. You know, we're waiting for client feedback, or we're waiting for their vendor to get us, you know, we're waiting for the photographer to send us the, mess the, the, you know, the new photographs or something. But on hold is like, you know what? We're not proceeding with that. At some point, we know they're going to want to update the tasks. Excuse me. They're going to want to update the um, staff members or the, the photos. But right now, we're not going to do that. So that stays on hold. So that's our statuses. And I find it works really, really well. You can certainly edit them for your own purposes. For us, that works really well. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the project management workflow. And we're going to look at it with the diagram that helps, makes it a little easier.